I'm Debbie Bell Hosking of An Extra TV and I'm here at the Temenos Community Forum in Vienna. I'm joined by Andrew Stedman of Temenos and we're chatting about innovation in retail banking. So welcome Andrew. Pleasure to be here. Lots of exciting things happening in retail banking. But first of all, can I ask you, how are you seeing customer expectations changing? Well, I think, I think they're changing quite dramatically, um, particularly the role of the mobile device is now in almost the primary course. I mean, I have a daughter of 23. Her expectations are incredibly different from my mother's. And I think what we're seeing is the demands of convenience, simplicity, speed being really paramount for them. And I think, I think we're also seeing that there's an expectation that they are understood by their banks in a way that perhaps my generation and certainly my mother's generation didn't. We merely use them as a service. But I think increasingly the younger generations are looking for help, looking for assistance and it's often not forthcoming, of mm. course. And perhaps also that understanding of their history as well. Yes, yeah, how they behave. And, and uh, I mean, we see the, the challenge with uh, financial literacy and the younger people. And I think there's a role for banks to play to guide them through becoming financially aware and financially literate. And I think that's an opportunity, certainly, and, and those expectations we see in the marketplace. And in a way, almost making contact with their client is easier because of devices. Of course. I mean, I remember when I started my banking career, banks would contact customers when something went wrong. Uh, I think what we're seeing now is the expectation of proactive help. And of course, you're always contactable. There is a device in your pocket which enables you to receive guidance, advice at any point in time. And we're most definitely in the digital age. So certainly. So what about the power of data and algorithms? I think it's, it's, it's the foundation for the future of, of uh, the financial services industry because there is so much data. And, and we've seen banks grappling with this challenge of how to deal with all the data and how to turn that data into information. And I think the, the modern technologies, particularly AI, are really now helping people understand that there is information to be had out of the wealth of data available. And how, how is that impacting your delivery of products and services? Well, I think from Temenos' point of view, it's imperative that we embed uh, those algorithms and explainable AI, and, and the explainability becomes critical in such a regulated industry. But it's embedded in all of those things we do. Uh, it, whether it's decisions for lending, which I need to explain the decision, why somebody did or didn't get uh, a facility, or whether it's figuring out the best way to help you by looking at all your transactions and the way you spend and your behavior, those need to be just be embedded as part of everything I do, rather than, I think, if we go back a few years, the analysis of data was almost outside of the main process. It was something that was done after the fact. That's no longer acceptable. It has to be done in the context of what I am doing at this point in time. And it's integral. It has to be integral, absolutely. I think as, as I'm, I mean, you know, I think of my daughter again, I'll, I'll pick on her. Um, the immediacy, you know, I get a text, she immediately expects me to respond, of course, because I'm waiting for it. But I think that immediacy is built into the younger generations. And having that guidance as they're doing something at the point of consumption of those financial services becomes really very important. And she does not expect to ever need to go into a branch, doesn't understand why she should. And whereas historically I may have chatted with my customer and learnt things, I now have to uncover that information from the data about their behaviour. I mean, it's so interesting, isn't it, how fast everything is changing? Yes. I know, I, 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 I mean, the pace of change just seems to continue. Um, things I think about when I started my banking career to where we are now and where we'll go in the next five years, it's almost exponential. Uh, and that makes it very difficult to uh, think about where to start. Um, and I, I think, you know, it has to be an integral part of what you do rather than an adjunct to your traditional business. And I think that's what we'll see reshaping the industry over the next few years. 
and talking about shaping the industry, what is Temenos doing to help banks deliver a hyper-personalized experience? Yeah, I think there's a, there's a couple of things. I think firstly the investments we're making in uh, analytics technology and particularly explainable AI is critical. But it's not just about having explainable AI, it's having the context for its use. And I think that's one of the things we see banks seeking help for is to be able to actually understand how it applies rather than just having it. So a lot of the work we're doing is around putting it in context and showing banks what's possible. Uh, and certainly some of the things we've been showing uh, this week or, uh, here at um, TCF have been exactly that. The context of applying AI to drive a business outcome, not for the sake of it, could you give me an example of that well, context? Yes, whether, uh, so uh, one we were looking at today in the retail environment, um, but one of my colleagues showed, where she was traveling or moving from one country to another. She bought a couple of flights, she had engaged a relocation agency. That can be understood by a bank and can analyze that and see there's some unusual behavior. So they proactively said, what are you doing can we help? And of course she said, yes, I'm moving country. Well, which country are you moving to? We have a branch there. Would you like us to open the account? Do you want us to help move some money? Do you want us to have that card, you know, your existing card on the new account? And it, it's a seamless thing. Whereas certainly my experiences of, of relocating between countries, opening bank accounts was um, always a challenge. Absolutely, yes. And in a way, what you're describing now in terms of the context, almost the story of that relationship yes. begins with the customer. Yeah. And I think, I think that's where the, the, the analytical, analytical algorithms really play a key role, mm. is being able to uncover what's going on and be able to proactively reach out and say, it looks like this, can we help you? And I think that's the big shift rather than you've done this, we now need to talk to you. It's anticipating the need and getting ahead of it and then making it easy. And that builds loyalty and trust and is the foundations for a long -term, foundation for a long-term relationship. Well, thank you, Andrew. That's been fascinating also about anticipating the need and then having a long-term longevity, really, hopefully, with that customer. So thank you very much for joining us. You're very welcome. Thank you.